I don't even know what that says. Oh, hey, I'm Izzy, and this is room 10. And yes, I have a good reason to be here. I'm on a scavenger hunt. And if you don't know what that is, well, I have a dictionary, so I can tell you. It's big. Scavenger, scavenger, scavenger. Ooh, scavenger. Someone who scavenges. So, there you go. Anyway, I have this list here, and I have found a gazillion things. I'm supposed to find all of the things on the list by the end of the month so I can win. And I mean, like, this place is a gold mine. I found this magnifying glass, which is super cool. I found uh, this DVD player, like ancient I found oh oh this super massive Lego block super cool and oh the Ten Commandments uh-huh and this really awesome card shuffler I am dying to try this thing out oh words caution Read instructions before operating. Ugh. I know that I had the instructions somewhere, but I really don't want to wait, so let's just try this thing out. Whoa! Uh-oh. 
I don't think I used wisdom. Wisdom oh, is finding out what you should do and then doing it. I definitely should have read the instructions before operating. Hey, that's what our story is about today. Well, it's not about card shuffling or reading instruction, but it's about, whoa, oh, what? I'm just gonna put this thing down. The Bible isn't just a book of random stories. It's 66 different books that come together to tell one story. An incredible one about God's love for us. And now for an amazing story inspired by the book of Proverbs. Chapter 22, verse 3. Most of Proverbs was written by King Solomon, a man who asked God for wisdom rather than power or riches. In chapter 22, he shares an important truth from God about how to make wise choices. Let's see how that might play out in someone's life today. Ada Rogers was beyond excited when she discovered a DeLorean for sale a week before college was slated to start. Only a thousand dollars. Ada's roommate and best friend Ling was skeptical. We need to get back to school, not time travel to 1985. Uh, we'll show up on campus in style. It's 600 miles. You should at least have a mechanic check out the car. It runs, doesn't it? And the horn works. That's all that matters. The next week, Ada and Ling set off on their back to school road trip. The small car was tightly packed with everything the girls would need for the year. Why do the doors have to open up? Everything falls out. The girls were several hours down the road when Ada realized she was hungry. I could eat an entire Burrito Bell Quesa Burrito Taco Bowl. We're in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing out here. Gas station! They gotta have something. In the tiny convenience store, Ada and Ling surveyed their food options. One roller grill with the rubbery bright red hot dogs. Those look like they've been there since Tuesday, collecting diesel fumes and burnt coffee smell. Better not to know. Even if it makes you sick? But Ada had already grabbed the hot dog and was paying for it. Ling surveyed the store's kitschy stash of knickknacks and plaques. Whistle while you work and drive everyone else nuts. Ada pointed out another plaque. Ooh, I know this one. It's from Proverbs in the Bible. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. I looked that up for my little sister when she wanted to get a pet snake. I mean, she didn't take one second to think what could happen if a snake got loose in the house. Ada took a mammoth bite out of her hot dog and chewed fast. You want some? I can't watch. It's, it's not bad. Um, it's actually... Um, oh... I don't feel so good. The next few hours, the girls had to make extra stops to buy Ada Tums and let her stomach settle. But by the afternoon, she was feeling okay again. Just look at how blue the sky is. We should take this back way. Wait, isn't that a construction sign? But Ada had already whipped the wheel around and turned onto a narrow, steep, two-lane road. You sure the car can handle this? It's a DeLorean. It could take us all the way to 1955. I'll settle for Vermont. Hey, what's that? Looks like they're working on the bridge. We'll have to turn around. I hate backtracking. It's just 20 minutes back to the highway. Ooh, look, I bet that goes around the bridge. Ada pointed to the gravel lane that veered off down the hillside. Oh, there's even a sign for a place to swim. But those ruts, what if we get stuck? Oh, hang on to your britches, kids. The car tore down a rough gravel lane, careening over bumps and roots. They narrowly dodged a huge pothole. Oh, slow down. The DeLorean flew around a rugged curve, catching air when a tree, a fallen tree with huge branches lay directly across the road. Oh, the steering wheels jammed. The DeLorean plowed into the branches, nosing up right underneath the massive tree trunk before finally stopping. For a long time, the girls just stared at each other. You okay? <sighs> yeah, you? I think so. 
Ada gingerly shifted the car into reverse and tapped the accelerator. I think we're stuck. Ugh, no cell coverage either. We'll have to hike back out to the main road. Carefully, the girls pried open the doors and crawled through the leaves and branches. When they finally made their way out, the car was almost hidden in the midst of the thicket. Ada sighed as a word she had read early that morning flew back to haunt her. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. And make their friends suffer for it too. I'm really sorry, Ling. How can I make it up to you? Well, you could crawl back in there and find my hiking shoes, for starters. Okay, and next time, I'll look before I leap. Or before you buy a DeLorean. Slowly, the girls trudged up the gravel road, searching for a cell phone signal. Ada had discovered God's truth in a hard way. It's always wise to pay attention and think things through first any time you face a big decision. Oh my goodness. This is on my list. A pocket watch. I could have used this earlier. Sometimes I don't think before I do. With this pocket watch, I could remind myself to take a little pause. Maybe 10 seconds. So next time I want to use an automatic card shuffler without reading the instructions, I can stop. One, two, and think. What could go wrong if I don't read the instructions? What kind of trouble could I get into? And wouldn't it be better to do the right thing? Nine, 10. You know, the Bible says, wait, hold on. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but foolish people see danger and keep going and suffer for it. I would much rather be wise than childish. So next time I see a sound that says caution, I'm going to pay attention. You know, this could be something that you could do too, counting to 10 I mean. So, next time you're going to do something that you know you shouldn't, or watch a video that you know you shouldn't, or do something crazy that you know you shouldn't, count to ten, and think about what kind of trouble you could get into. Look before you leap. That's the one thing to remember today. If you want to be wise, look before you leap. Don't be like me. Sometimes I put the dumb in wisdom. but. Sometimes I do okay. All right, let's mark that down. Pocket watch. Who's in for a game of 52 card pickup? I'm like 552. Right. See you next time.